everyone welcome back to my channel today we have another haul but this one is extra special because it's all Dollar Tree and I hit the jackpot of all Dollar Trees with fall stuff coming out I am talking a whole bunch of new stuff that I've never seen before I hope that you guys are excited let's jump into everything that I picked up for this haul from Dollar Tree here we go so thank you to one of my subscribers who messaged me. We live in the same area and she let me know about a Dollar Tree that's about 30 minutes away from me that was fully stocked of fall stuff. Fall and Halloween, there were so many things. I mean, this isn't even all the things that they had. <laughs> there was a ton. So keep your eyes peeled in your Dollar Trees. If you have to drive a little bit of distance to find a good one, I have like five Dollar Trees in my area and none of them have any of this stuff. I never would have found this stuff without somebody telling me. So thank you to my subscriber who messaged me and let me know about this stuff. Okay, so the first couple things I'm really, really excited about. They have these wooden uh, stuff. <laughs> So you have some wooden acorns and some wooden apples. And then they also had wooden mushrooms. How cute are these? I just thought these were absolutely adorable. Like I said, and then the acorns and the apples. I thought these were so adorable. I was so excited when I saw these because I'd never seen anything like this before. So they're just like a solid wood and I thought there were so many DIYs that you could do with this and I'm really, really excited for it. Another thing that I hadn't ever seen before, maybe they've had these in the past, I just have never seen them, but they are these mini pumpkins. They have them in orange and in black in that buffalo check. You get five of them per pack, but I thought these were really cute. They'd be adorable for like filler or, you know, other little small uh, DIYs that you wanted to do with them. I just thought these were so much fun, so I picked up one in each color. And then to go along with that, they're big pumpkins as well. So they have them in the buffalo chuck. And I think that they had them in another color too, maybe blue. I can't remember. But um, yeah, so you got your bigger pumpkins with that buffalo check print on there. They also had these really fun stickers that I just thought were so cute and, you know, fall. <laughs> And they are a bit raised, so they're like the 3D kind of sticker. So I just thought these were so cute. You also have these ones. And then there are also these ones with all sorts of pumpkins on them. So just lots of fun little stickers that I thought would be really cute to decorate some DIYs with. All right, and another thing that they had that I hadn't seen before are these mini trucks. I know that they have these, or they had these last year with Christmas, but I hadn't ever seen them for fall. So you got some blue ones, they have the red, orangey one, and then, ooh, I'm gonna drop things, and then they have a green one. So I thought these were cute. They have flowers and pumpkins on the back. I thought these would be really fun to do some DIYs with as well. I also found these Harvest Blessings little scarecrows. Maybe if it'll face the right way. There you go. <laughs> so you get two for a dollar. I thought these would be really cute as well to figure out some little DIYs to use with them. Put them on a sign or I don't know, all you creative people. Think it's something fun with it. Another thing that I thought was so fun were these mini hay bales. I picked some of these up from Hobby Lobby. I can't remember how many came in a pack. And obviously they were more expensive than this, but you get eight little hay bales for a dollar. I thought these would be really fun to do some DIYs for a tier tray. 
all sorts of things. So I got one of those. And then they had their color your own ornaments out. The ones that I picked up was this acorn and they had a little um, hot chocolate or, you know, maybe it's a pumpkin spice latte or something, <laughs> but a, uh, a cup and some apples. So that's all. I think they also had foxes, but I didn't see any pumpkins or leaves um, when I was there. So maybe, maybe they're going to get some. I don't know. Maybe they'll put more out, but I don't believe I had seen these ones before. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't remember, but I picked up some of these. Some things that they had, again, from last year were these pumpkin uh, holder, napkin holders, maybe, or utensil holders. I don't know. These things, <laughs> they had them out last year. I wanted to grab a couple more for some DIYs, so I picked up two of those. And then as for some signs and things, they had these pumpkins out, which have a letter and, you know, the pumpkin. I didn't get any for my last name just because I knew I was going to be redoing this, but I thought they were cute when they came with the buffalo check ribbon and the leaf. I love using those in DIYs. And you can never have too many pumpkin shapes. So I grabbed a couple of these. They also had a ton of fall signs out and I just grabbed a couple and I actually really like these. I don't even know if I want to DIY with them. I just think they're adorable. So you got this one that says Farm Fresh Fall. And the only glitter that's on them is on the words. Other than that, they're glitter free. So hopefully Dollar Tree's toning down the glitter a little bit. But I thought these were really, really cute. I love the truck and the different colored pumpkins in there. I just think it's adorable. So... When I got one of those signs, I also picked up this sign, which again, I just think this is so pretty and the only glitter on the words and everything else does not have glitter on it. But I just thought this was so pretty. I just love fall colors and maybe that's why I'm so drawn to it, but I love all the colors on here. Very, very cute. Another one that I got that I thought was so cute was this one. It says, count your blessings. And it has a little galvanized pumpkin in the middle. If you look on the back, it just has like a galvanized sheet um, stuck to the back. But I still thought this was really cute. If Even if you wanted to redo it in some way, I don't know, you'd have that pumpkin cut out right there. So I just picked up this one. See what fun things that I could come up with. They also had plenty of trucks. This one says fall harvest with only the glitter right there. Um, again, you got your metal leaf and a raffia bow. You could redo this. There's so many different things that you could do with these trucks. So I grabbed one of those. They also had this pumpkin topiary that says fall. I thought this was really cute. Again, you could flip it over to the back and repaint it and make it look the way that you want it. Or just leave it as, you know, as it is. I think it's really cute either way. So picked up that. I grabbed some of their DIY pumpkins. So again, they have these ones like they had last year. I picked up several of those because I thought these ones were really fun. They have some pumpkins that have some words on them that I thought were really cute. This one says thankful and it has a couple leaves on there. I wonder if you could like pop these off, maybe turn it around and use the back or um, I don't know. I just thought that they were really fun or you can just paint it the way that it is and put it on a wreath or something but I thought those were really cute they also have these ones that say welcome fall with some leaves on there I grabbed some of their big leaves these were so much fun look they're they're huge <laughs> and I just think these would be really cute for so many different things a sign a wreath any you know all sorts of stuff. I thought they were fun. And then they have their DIY pumpkins, just their plain regular pumpkins. So I grabbed several of those. Another thing that I thought was really fun were these words. This one says harvest wishes and it has a leaf on the side. So I thought that was cute. And then I also picked up this one that says thankful and blessed. 
with the little vine at the bottom. So they had that one. And then I think they had one more. Yes. This one, it says gather together. And then it has a little, um, why can't I think of what this is called? You know what I mean? <laughs> the name is slipping my mind, but this, tell me in the comments what this is. Remind me. And I believe that there were only three different kinds and I picked up uh, one of each. Oh, they also had these leaves, which I thought were so much fun. So like the other leaf, but it has this second piece to it on top, just gives it a little bit more detail. So those are really cute. I did pick up a couple of those. And then they had these velvet pumpkin picks that I thought were really cute. They remind me a lot of the ones that you can get at Hobby Lobby but you're just getting it for a dollar. They only have three pumpkins on it, but I think that's a pretty great deal for a dollar. So I got white and orange. I Like I said, I think that they may have had another color, but I can't remember. But these are the ones that I got. I thought these would be really fun. And then I picked up a couple of these. They're called Amaranthums, I think. <laughs> um, I hadn't seen these ones before yet, and I just thought that these were so pretty. These are the only florals that I got. My last haul was basically all florals. I think I'm set on the fall florals for this season, but I thought these were really cute, so I had to get them. I also found these long signs with a pumpkin cut out at the top. How cute is that? And I really like the board itself. I feel like it will stain really well, and it has like you know, that wood grain texture to it. Um, obviously, it's still just like your MDF, but the outside board looks really nice and I think it would stain really well. So I did pick up several of these. I think these are gonna be super fun to DIY with. And then they had these sunflowers, which I thought were so cute. You get a mini with nine or bigger ones with six and they just have wire stems on the back. So you can add these onto basically anything, but I thought these were really cute. So I did pick up a couple of those and then I found these. How cute are those? I just think these are so fun. So you get eight pumpkins, you get eight leaves. They have the black and the orange in both of them, but they're just MDF little pumpkins. I thought these were perfect because you don't have to do DIYing with them. You don't have to paint them if you don't want. You already have the buffalo check print on them. So I thought these were adorable. Okay. And then I did pick up a couple of Halloween things. I'm not huge into decorating uh, my home in Halloween, maybe just like a tiered tray or a little piece here and there, but um, they did have a lot of Halloween stuff. I just didn't grab too much of it, but this I thought would be fun. You got these little foam bones that I thought would be fun to do some DIYs with. I don't know what yet, but I picked them up just in case. And then they had a ton of wood pieces. So I thought these were really fun. They had these palette witches hats, which I think could be so cute. You could use this for so many, you could do so many things with this. Did pick up a couple of these. And then they also had these little coffins which I thought were cute. So just some fun palette wood kind of DIYs to go with those. And then they also had these witches brooms, which I thought were adorable. They had several different colors, but I got the black one and then this orangey one, orange and red. I just thought these were really fun and they could be used to do some cute DIYs with as well. And then I did pick up a couple things that aren't fall. So that was all the fall stuff that I got. If you wanna see the things that weren't fall that I got, I'll show ya. So the first things that I found were these wallpaper, these peel and stick wallpaper pieces. I've seen um, Crafts by Caitlin use them in her videos and I think they are so cute. And this was the very first store that I had ever seen them in. So I did pick up a couple, uh, they were, pretty cleared out of a lot of them, but I was able to snag these ones up that just look like the faux shiplap kind of wood look. 
And then they had this herringbone pattern, which I thought was so cute. And I think will make really pretty fall crafts. And then they had one of these shiplap ones as well. So I just think these will be really fun to uh, make into some cute signs. And then I also found some of these peel and stick tile decals. I thought these were really cute. And I thought they would be fun to do some DIYs with as well. So I just got a couple of those. And then I found these wood stakes. Again, I had never found these in any of my Dollar Trees. They had a whole box full of these and I thought these would be really fun as well. Fall DIYs, these will be perfect. So I grabbed several of these up. And then lastly, I think I'm looking around trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> lastly is just the galvanized letters and I did find both packs of the A through M and the N through Z so I got a couple of those they're always fun to have on hand and they're little and perfect perfect for small little signs so yeah that's the last thing I grabbed that's it I hope that you guys enjoyed this I know so many Dollar Trees are so different. Not all of them are created equal at all. In fact, when my friend and I were at this Dollar Tree, we were like, how is this possible? How is there a Dollar Tree that is this big? We spent an hour in there and we only got to half the store. It was crazy. It is by far the biggest Dollar Tree I'd ever been to. So let me know if you have any good Dollar Trees in your area. I know a lot of people struggle finding things so with that being said i'm gonna do a giveaway i'm gonna give away some of my fall stuff that i found to one lucky winner all you gotta do to enter my giveaway is comment down below what your favorite dessert is that who doesn't love dessert so let me know what is your favorite dessert put it in the comments below that will enter you into my giveaway that will last for two weeks Two weeks from today, I will pick the winner for my fall giveaway and I will send you a little goodie box full of some fall items. Let me know if you guys have found anything different than what I have found. I feel like there is a ton of new stuff here, but I wonder if there's even more out there or maybe some things that weren't in that store and you guys have found. Let me know. I'm interested in seeing if there's anything else out there besides what I have found at this store. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.